Up next from Japan, the men's 800-meter final featuring Denmark's Wilson Kip Kutur, who shattered the world record twice at the last indoor world championships. A native Kenyan, Wilson Kip Kutur, relocated to Denmark and won a gold medal for his adopted country at the 95 Outdoor Worlds. Perhaps the greatest 800 runner of this generation runs next. Welcome back to Maibashi, Japan, and the World Indoor Track and Field Championships. And the bell rings next for the men's 800 meters, featuring Wilson Kipkater of Denmark, who contracted malaria on a visit to his homeland of Kenya the early part of last year. He doesn't quite have all of his confidence back. He was running well last summer, and then towards the end, he ran some bad races, so he ended on a bad note. Johan Botha likes to mix it up. He likes to vary the pace in a race. And Machaban, with the fastest time in the world, could be expected to try and go out and run fast right from the gun. There you have the starters in the men's 800 meters. Kip Kutur of Denmark, the world record holder indoors and outdoors, and the defending champion. Of course, in the past, this race was easy to to form because Kip Kitter always went out fast and everyone just tried to stay with him. He's a little more human now since that bout with malaria and here he hesitated. He doesn't want to take the pace and Botha is slowing it down because he'd like this to be very uneven pace with a lot of moves. Machaban in white is trying to decide what to do. I've got the fastest time. Do I want to just push the pace? This is a long time to be out front. But he's decided that's his, his only hope. And Mochiban of Germany does take the lead. Botha of South Africa second, and Kip Kutur runs third. Interesting way for this race to roll out. There was a big amount of indecision where three men were deciding what they needed to do as they broke for the pole. Not a fast pace different than the women's 800 meters where Matola just took it right from the gun and everyone knew it was going to be fast and be decided in the stretch. Kipketer falling off the pace here. Not something we're used to seeing from him. Kipketer in third has fallen a bit behind the two leaders, Nico Mochaban of Germany and Johan Botha of South Africa. Here's the bell lap. Kipketer in third, back farther than we've seen him in a major race. The guys up front are starting to move, but he's moving even better. But here goes Botha. Botha goes by Mochaban to take the lead. Mochaban trying to hang on in second. Kip Kutur trying to mount a challenge from third. Home stretch. Mochaban, Botha, Botha in the lead. Here comes Kip Kutur. Botha and Kip Kutur coming for the line. Botha, I think, just held off. Kip Kutur for the win. Boy, that was a close one. That one's a close one. Botha was held off for an instant by Mochaban. Mochaban put his hand out to keep Botha out into the second lane. That slowed them up, and then Kipketer got a chance to get up on their shoulders. He just timed it wrongly. He probably could have won this race on a different day, but it's Botha, who's been undefeated this year, racing often, who really had the feel of how things had to happen over the final 200 meters. Here's that uh, close finish, Kip Kutur gaining with every stride, but at the line, the lean and a narrow victory for Botha, 145.47, Kip Kutur second, Mochiban held third. 